Hey YouTube, I'm back, and today we're going to be learning about math. Yay! Um, but seriously though, we're going to be learning about math and variables. So um, if you remember in the last video, we did um, setting variables and calling variables. Now we're going to actually do some math with the variables. This is where it starts to get fun. So um, first things first, we're going to actually set number one or num1, you know, you abbreviate stuff a lot in scripting and programming because it wants to type out the entire thing over and over again. So we'll do um, a number, da -da -da, 262. So we're going to set num2 to equal another random number, and it should all be small potatoes for you. You learned this in the last episode, as simple as that. But here comes the fun part. There's actually these things, I don't really know what they're called, to be completely honest, but I'm going to call them extensions, sort of, to the set command. You're going to be learning the next one in a couple of videos, but um, this one is actually called slash a, and I like to think of this as like slash add, even though it's not necessarily for adding. It's, this is what allows you to do math. So we do slash a, and then type a variable, answer. You Then you can actually do math. So you can do percent number one percent, and if you remember in the last video I said, literally you could delete this and replace it with that number. This is literally the exact same thing as what you're setting it to up there. And then you could do plus, and then percent, num, two percent. And this will add the two of them together, and, to the, and then set that as the answer variable. Right here we can echo out the answer variable, and if you learned all this in the last video, visible pause, and this will work. So remember those two numbers, and we add them together, and voila! works. Um, yeah, so um, the thing about this is how, first of all, if you don't add the slash a, that's very important because it's just going to say 200 whatever, 262 plus, that's it's literally, or whatever the other number was, it's going to be like 262 plus whatever it was, and that's, again, literally what it's going to display. It's not going to actually add it, so... It's not going to add it because we don't have the slash a, which is not, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean math. I mean, oh god, that was terrible. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean add, it, ju it means math. It doesn't just mean add. So um, without that, it act literally displays what it's doing. It doesn't actually add it. And um, obviously you can do more than just adding. You can do the subtraction, multiplication, divis division, all that fun stuff. So, obviously, subtraction is a minus symbol, or a dash. Open it up, it will subtract it. Now, uh, multiplication is an asterisk. Um, I think there's a couple other ways you can do it, like in real math. I don't know if this way works, but if you do the... Well, that's how you do it, but if you surround the other number in parentheses, that may or may not work. I'm not, not going to test it, because bad things can happen with, with um, asterisks. But um, if you want to go ahead and test it, be my guest. You can leave a comment telling me what happens. I'm pretty sure it would work, but yeah, you know, multiplication works. Division is a slash, and of course that works. Oh. Um, I don't know if you already know this, but I don't know if I talked about this in the previous video because I recorded a lot, deleted a lot, cut out a lot of, of content. But I'm going to go over it again, just in case. I mean, you never know, there could be somebody tuning in right now. There are my three major flaws of Windows Batch. The first flaw is you can't add sounds. Apart from beeps, which are in the program. And, um, little, like you can open up a, um, invisible, which is way advanced for, for right now. Um, you can open up a, um, invisible sound document by invisible, I mean it's minimized. Um, sound file that keeps looping itself, so you can have like music. And um, you can't add, well the second flaw is that you can't add video or pictures apart from text art. And it's, um, if you want to learn more about how to do text art, I have a website that I use and I can tell you what it's called. And I mean, what the art's called, I'll just tell you what the website is. But um, the website is called glassgiant.com and I'll actually leave a link for that in the description. G L A S S G I A N T, and the uh, type of art is called A N S C I I art, and um, that's pretty much text art. 
I don't really have an exa any examples to show you, but it's when you arrange a bunch of characters in a way, and it makes a picture. And what Glass Giant does is they have um, you have to navigate to it. You might just want to search Glass Giant. I'll leave a link exactly to the converter, but it converts a normal picture, like if you have a picture of Marilyn Monroe, which is actually one of the default. Or take any picture that you have that's not too big, and um, it'll convert it to text, and then you can paste it into your batch program, put echoes on the left side of each line with the space, and maybe polish it up a little bit, and you'll have some nice text art picture. Yeah, and then the third, probably most deadly, in my opinion, it's not only like deadly, but you know what I mean, flaw, is um, you can't add decimals. I'll just let that sink in for a second. Yeah, can't add decimals. So, I mean, there's actually a really complicated way, which involves using a variable for each place, and um, the for slash f and slash l command, and I, we're not even close to going into that yet, especially seeing how short these little, not short, but, um, Especially I'm doing one or two commands per video, kind of if you just wanted to use, if you were actually already experienced in batch and you forgot one thing, like sometimes I forget the four slash f command, I forget the syntax for it, and syntax means the way you set it up in case you're wondering, and sometimes I have to look it up just to double check, brain check, but um, yeah, so the other thing I wanted to say was that if you have letters, and it's like, this is a completely normal number, but if you had any letter or a special symbol, like a cash sign or a pound sign, also known as a hashtag, it will inv invalidate this entire number, and any number that's technically invalidated, also this would still keep it invalidated, um, becomes a zero. So if I do this, I'm just going to do addition for simplicity. This will be 495. So, if anything that's letters just automatically become, um, they automatically become, what crap was I going to say? Um, I actually just put a little brain fart there. But I think you know what I was going to say. Oh yeah, they become zero. There we go. And of course, if you remove the slash add, then it would literally do it. And you could remove the plus and that extra space, and you could have them two con together like that. And you can actually have multiple things, so if like, you're um, if you wanted to have a character name, and then a password for the character, and this is not a real password, I'm just making this up, I mean, somebody could actually do this, crap, no, no, not whatever, um, for a password, so I mean, of course you can do something like that, and then it would show you using a password, or there's other uses, and that's why they had to add, so you have to do set slash a slash add thing. Because in case we wanted to do something like that, to add two variables and combine them together. But so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. I'm not going to give away anything, but it's going to be a good one. See you then in the next video. And I almost forgot. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And now I'll see you in the next video. Right about now.